we just had Pure Desire here, uh, the ministry here, and I think you were given flyers um, about what uh, groups that you can get in, what you guys can do after this. But Jesus uh, comes to this passage and he says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery um, with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body go to hell. Again, Jesus is is setting out a standard that is higher than we can attain. Because I don't believe there's anyone in here who hasn't or hasn't dealt with or hasn't wi- or won't deal with at some point lust, desiring what someone else has. And it says if you have it in your heart towards another woman, and he's speaking to the men here, because the men in the society were the ones who uh, they just ran it all. Um, as if you have that desire in your heart. And you've already committed that. You're not. A, you can't escape this. It's, you're, you've already committed it. So if there's lust in your heart, what needs to happen is you immediately need to take action and cut off the stimulus. Now there are stories and stories of students in Bible schools throughout the history who went to went to class and learned about this and came back missing a hand or missing an eye. Um, but I don't think that's exactly what Christ is is saying, mutilate yourself. Because if I lose my eye, I still have another one, and that's, that one will still see, right? Because lust starts in the brain. And if I lose my hand, I'll find some other apparatus to get what I want. What he's saying is that you need to cut off the stimulus that is causing this in your life. You need to take action. Step up um, for what the guys talked about last week. Talk to someone. Expose the lust that's in your heart. Get in a group of people who will keep you accountable. Because I think one of the biggest fears we have in this this world is that we would be found out. That the life we project to other people on Sunday would somehow be deconstructed and that we would be seen for who we really are. But I think what Jesus really gets at is if you would just accept who you really are and start from a, and, and admit who you really are, you could start from a point where you can actually have growth and change in your life. So if you have this in your life, take action immediately. And so he moves off of this. He's-